What's going on everybody? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ricky Somborn and today we're going to learn how to play Perfect by Ed Sheeran on the good old uke. <laughs> As always, with every ukulele tutorial that I upload here on YouTube, I will include a skip to section right here where you can skip to either the chords or the strumming for this song if you don't want to sit through the entire time in a video. I totally get it. You're probably like, Ricky, just let's go, let's go. Skip to sections will be your best friend, but if you watch the entire video, I'd love you forever and I'm literally caressing you right now, your cheek. Isn't, that's not weird, right? <laughs> Also, one thing I do want to note about the playalongs is I will be uploading the full playalongs on my Patreon account. So if you want to go over to my Patreon, link will be in the description, or you can just go to this website right here. And that is my Patreon account. If you ever wanted to support this channel, now is the time. I will be uploading only my playalongs on that channel, and then you'll have access to other things as well on the Patreon account. I really want to go hard on Patreon because I feel like it's just a better way for me to connect with you guys, and it's easier to get your feedback back on Patreon because there's not that many people on there right now. So again, all the play alongs will be on a Patreon, but again, I will be uploading the full tutorials on YouTube and also the entire chord sheet, which is the lyrics and chords will be available in the description. So you can copy and paste it and keep it for yourself. So that is my gift to you. And so with all that said and done, let's go ahead and learn the chords that we need for this song. So this song is really simple and that only has four chords and those chords are A minor, C, F, and last but not least, G. So if you're like Ricky, I know all those chords, let's move on to the strumming. Again, skip to section will be your best friend. You can just skip to whatever the timestamp says for strumming. But if you're like Ricky, I just started playing a week ago, yesterday, an hour ago. Please help me, I don't know where to put my fingers on the uke for each chord. Don't worry, this is why this video exists. We're gonna go step by step on where we're gonna put our fingers on the uke for each chord, and then we'll talk about strumming. So if you wanna learn the chords and just kind of more general stuff about the uke, then just keep on watching. All right, so let's learn these chords. As always, I will have a visual representation of where you need to put your fingers on the uke for each chord. I feel like it just helps a lot what you can visually see and then also have me talk you through it. It's like a double whammy. It's a grand slam. So let's talk about the first chord, which is the A minor chord. And how we're gonna play this one is, you're gonna take your middle finger and you're gonna place your middle finger on the fourth string, which again is the top string, fourth string, second fret, and it should sound like this. The next chord that we need is the C chord and how we're gonna play this one is, you're gonna take your ring finger and you're gonna place your ring finger on the first string, which again is the bottom string, first string, third fret, and it should sound like this. The next chord that we need is the F chord and how we're gonna play this one is, you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna place your pointer finger on the second string, first fret, then you're gonna take your middle finger and you're gonna place your middle finger on the fourth string, second fret, and it should sound like this. And the last chord that we need for this song is the good old G chord and how we're gonna play this one is, you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna place your pointer finger on the third string, second fret. Then you're gonna take your middle finger and place it on the first string, second fret. And then you're gonna take your ring finger and place it on the second string, third fret, and it should sound like this. So those are the four chords that we need for this song. If you do need a little bit more extra time, make sure to press the pause button right now, rewind to whatever section you need or chord that you need a little bit more time on. And then once the chords sound crisp and clear, then you can press play. And now let's talk about how we're gonna play this song with the strumming coming up next. All right, so we just learned the chords. Now let's talk about how we're gonna play this song with the strumming. I'm gonna teach you a couple different ways that you can play this song. The first way is gonna be for the true beginner who's like, I just don't wanna even strum. I don't even wanna think about strumming. I just wanna get through the song. And the second way is going to be with a strumming pattern. So let's talk about the first way, which is for the true beginner who's like, Ricky, 
Don't even teach me a strumming pattern because I'm not gonna use it right now. I'm just trying to focus with the chords and just singing and getting through the song because I love Ed Sheeran. And this is like my girlfriend, my boyfriend, my mom, my dad's, my brothers, my sister's favorite song. And I wanna show them that I can do this. I got you. So the strumming pattern that we're gonna do for this one is just going to be a down strum. So it's a super easy down strum. I'm a, I usually, whenever I do a down strum, I use my thumb, but you can also use a pointer finger, but I just kind of like to use my thumb because it's more comfortable for me. So whenever you do see a chord change, just strum down. And it will just sound as awesome. So again, the entire chord sheet will be in the description below. It has the actual uh, chord right above the word so you know exactly when to change chords. And when you're singing, you can actually see the chord so you know, okay, we're gonna go to the A minor. Now we're gonna go to C. So then that is a super easy way for you to kind of just get through the song. And again, the full play along will be on my Patreon. So definitely go check that out. If you want to hear me sing and strum and do all the good stuff, that will be on Patreon. So now let's talk about the second way, which is going to be with the, with the actual strumming pattern, not with the down strum. And the strumming pattern is going to be down, down, up, up, down, up. So let's do that one more time. I have the C chord down, so it's going to be down, down, up, up, down, up. So for the verse and chorus, you're gonna it's gonna change a little bit. So that strumming pattern is gonna be the same. Down, down, up, up, down, up. So in the verse, you're gonna do that strumming pattern twice for every chord. So it's gonna go C, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And then it's gonna go to A minor, down, Now for the chorus, you're gonna do, it's just a one strumming pattern per chord. So it's gonna go uh, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, up, F, down, down, up, up, down, up, C, down, down, up, up, down, up, G, down, down, up, up, down, up. So again, the verse is gonna get two strumming patterns for every chord, and the chorus is gonna get one strumming pattern for every chord. And again, that strumming pattern is going to be down, down, up, up, down, up. All right, so we learned the chords and the two different ways you can play this song. Congratulations, you now know how to play it perfect by Ed Sheeran on the good old uke. If you did like this video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button below and the bell notification to be notified every single time I upload a video right here on YouTube. If you haven't already, thank you so much to you for clicking and watching this video. I really, truly appreciate it. We are growing so much on this channel and I couldn't do it without you watching these videos, supporting, commenting, liking, sharing, doing all that good stuff and coming back to this channel and just being an amazing part of this Uke fam. I truly can't thank you enough. Also, I do wanna give a huge shout out to Enya Ukulele for making a beautiful ukes. This is the EUC 25D. It's in such a beautiful like bluish green color. Absolutely amazing. Again, absolutely amazing. I know some of you who watch my lives know that I say absolutely amazing a lot. Um, but yeah, this, I can't, I can't describe it more than absolutely amazing. So if you do want to be Uke Twins with me, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can get this Uke and be, we can be Uke Twins. I know it comes in now a few different other, other colors, like a deep purple. So definitely go get this. And it's super affordable. It's like $70, $75. Uh, highly recommend this uke. It is honestly one of my favorites and definitely one of my go-tos next to my desk. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you know that I have ukes next to my desk, that those are my favorites. And this one is always next to my desk. So highly recommend this one. So if you want to be uke twins with me, then definitely go to the link below and get yourself one of these beautiful concert and yet ukuleles. Also something super exciting is that we have merch for this channel. So if you do want to go support, make sure to check the link below. I am wearing the hoodie. I have it in a bunch of different colors. There's also t-shirts, hats, masks, bags, anything you can think of, everything will be in the description below. Definitely go check it out. And if you want to get a piece of the merch and become part of the Uke fam, then definitely do that. And then send me a picture, a DM, a message, letting me know that you got it. Cause I would love to share it with everybody, uh, especially on Instagram. We've reached 
reached over 56,000 Instagram family members. And if you want to get more behind the scenes stuff and just kind of my day to day life, then follow me on Instagram, which is just at Ricky Somborn. Again, we've reached over 56,000 Instagram family members and I would love for you to be a part of it if you haven't already. Again, if you do get a piece of the merch, make sure to send me a picture, tag me in pictures and stories, anything letting me know that you got it and I'll love to share it with everybody else because everybody is so supportive on Instagram and also on here as well. So thank you so much for watching this video. I truly, truly can't thank you enough for hanging out with me for these 10, 15 minutes and just being an absolutely amazing part of the Uke fam. Uh, again, I really can't thank you enough. This whole past few months have been absolutely crazy. You thought I was gonna say amazing, I said crazy. But yeah, thank you so much for everything, all the support, all the love. Your comments in, the, in these videos are absolutely so supportive. You thought I was gonna say amazing again. I'm not gonna say amazing. We're not gonna do that anymore. We will probably, but <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I'm gonna go, I need to get some sleep, but thank you so much for hanging out with me. I truly, truly, truly can't thank you enough. Again, everything will be linked in the description. And again, the full play along for this song will be officially on Patreon. So definitely go check that out if you want to. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Also leave some song recommendations in the comments. I wanna hear what you guys want to see on this channel because now I'll be able to just pump up all the tutorials for this channel. And if there's anything else that you want, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.